Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makar, Kadash. Double honor to the apostles, elders, and great millstones, the citation of brothers is pushing this word in truth and sincerity when charity and risking their lives and freedom to do so. This is your brother, Yana Guy, coming from the Great Millstone Chicago Camp. Coming at you with no less than low and <clears throat> Uh, yeah, man, the, the devil is in the suit and tie, man. All right, beware of the devil. All right, the devil going back into, um, deceiver. All right, he done deceived many. You know, it's like that, um, <laughs> like that Scooby-Doo, you know, the dude that's fucking tormenting everybody. You know, once they discover who it is, they're like, what the fuck? Has this been this guy the whole time? Look like a, 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 a harmless person, you know. Or the person they least suspected because they think so highly of them or whatever. But never trust thy enemy, as scripture says. All right, a lot of shit's going on. All right, um, this place that they say that they trust in the Lord, you know, they don't. Because in order to trust in the Lord, you know, you have to fear the Lord, man. You fear the Lord, you know. These people don't fear the Lord. All right. Um, they don't fear the Lord, man. I'm going to start off, actually, I'm going to start off with uh, Proverbs real quick. For saying that, this Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, trust in the Lord and with all thy heart and lean not unto thy own understanding. All right, trust in the Lord, man. There's a lot of shit going on, going on around here. But once you, you know, realize and you trust in the Lord that hey, the Lord's in control of all these things, man, you fear Him because He's the one controls these things. All right. Um, and these people in the world, you know, e. That was making you trying to fear everything but the Lord. To fear uh, mandates, to fear not living a normal life, to fear um, all these things, all these diseases, you know. But not once they tell you hey, to fear the Lord and to repent. They're not going to tell you. All right? They're not going to tell you. All right? This is the Lord's prophet's job to tell you those things, man. These niggas are fucking wicked. We are to warn you. Watch out for these niggas. Because these niggas are full of shit. This is Sirach chapter 12, verse 16. It says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. He will weep with his own eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. All right. I'm, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was New York, you know, and they, they, they're starting to admit that these things, these mandates and all that, is starting to have side effects on the immune system. That breaks down the immune system. But yeah, it's supposed to hear, help you support it, and it's supposed to be so healthy for you and all these things and protect you. No nah, man, I always say man, this uh, 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 the rich will get it first, you know, and it won't be free to the poor man. All right, it won't. Hey, hey, hey so watch out and beware, cause these motherfuckers say, seem like they out here to help you, and they're not out here to help you, man. This is Psalms. Chapter 55 and 21. It says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. <laughs> Never trust thy enemy, man. These motherfuckers they talk a good game, man. They talk a slick shit. But. It's just, it's just, they won't even be satisfied with blood, man. They all they do is manage how to overthrow thee, man. 
Hell no, fear the Lord and trust in the Lord, man. And that's it, that's all. Trust in these niggas and hell no, man. Scripture says they, 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 our eyes have yet failed. For our, for we have watched for a nation that cannot save us. Now, <laughs> these niggas, man, he ain't gonna save you, man. They can't save you. In the Lord, that's why we have to trust in the Lord. Go back and repent and trust in the Lord, man, and fear the Lord. But they teach you otherwise, man. This is um, Psalms 58 and 3. It says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her, her ear. All right? And that's what it is, man. <laughs> you motherfucker, you can't see shit since, since birth, man. They go they, uh, go straight speaking lies, man. These motherfuckers just can't tell the truth. How can you trust these motherfuckers that you can't do right? That's how they. That's why the devil, they deceive they, they, they deceive y'all niggas, man. And Jake is simple, that's why uh, 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 it's going to be, uh, be your shame, man. This place is going to be your shame, man. Because if you trust in this place, it's going to be your ruin. It's going to be your destruction. It's going to be fucking. A scripture says, he that join hand in hand shall surely, it shall not go unpunished. All right. That's another one of Psalms. One forty. And once the chief musician, a psalm of David, deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent's adder's poison is under their lips a lot. Man. And that's what it is, man. Like, these motherfuckers are just wicked, man. They just full of shit. They're not here to help you. They're not here to help you, man. These places couldn't give two shits about Jake, man. They they couldn't care less, man. And yet our people fucking trust in, into the oppressor. This shit is nuts. All right, well, hey, like, not feeling good. Like it says, this is Isaiah chapter 31 and 1. It says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. That's what it is, man. We won't see destruction on two niggas, man. Because that's what it is. Niggas want to uh, depend on this place. And this place don't give two shits about you. They don't fucking tr truly so show you your horn, their horns, man. And then it's going to be too late, man. I told you, niggas. But. Hey. I want to edify lesson. Never trust our enemies, man. You motherfuckers full of shit. You know, trust in the Lord, fear the Lord, you know, repent. Until next time, call along like how about some y'all shy in the Bible box.